Now let's take a little bit more in-depth look at video. We looked briefly at the video pane in a track view overview. That's shown by pressing V and dragging to resize if necessary. Video can be imported via the video pane right click menu, but it's also possible to import video by using the file import video option. From here you navigate to your video, click on it and open. The video will be imported into the video lane and any audio track present imported into its own audio track. The video pane will be open as will the video view. The video view opens in a multi dock so I press D to hide that for now. In the video lane we can choose to display thumbnails of the video by clicking on the show hide thumbnail icon or selecting that option from the right click context menu. Frame numbers can also be shown by selecting that from this menu or using the icon in the track header. This lane is just a thumbnails view and to see the video in real time, we need to switch back to the video view. If that view isn't already open, you can select that choice in the right click context menu or use the main menu, views menu or its shortcut of alt plus shift plus two. As we've seen, the video opens in the multi dock and that can be called back by pressing D. The now time is displayed above the video. Right clicking within the video view will show the options for the video. Animate will enable or disable real time video playback. Insert works as another method of importing a video but will replace any existing video. Delete will delete any video already loaded. The stretch options allow for customization of the video within the view. And the time display format is also customizable as is the background color. The external DV output allows you to choose any digital video devices that you may have attached to export video to and the device properties can be set here. Video properties can be set by choosing that from the menu. Here it's possible to set at what measure the video playback will start as well as a trim in time. The trim in time is there to trim the start from any imported video such as titles or the first scenes. This is specified in SMPTE time format. The trim out time is similar but trims the end of the video. The video start time is the time at which the video will start to play back from in the project in measures, beats and tick format. So for example, setting a start time of three measures with a trim in time of 30 seconds We'll start the video playback at measure 3, but trim the first 30 seconds from the video. Once you've finished composing, editing and mixing your soundtrack, the project can be exported as a video by choosing Export Video from the File Export menu. Here you can choose the video format using the Save As Type drop-down. If you want to export to an external digital video device, that should appear in the Save As Type list as well. Advanced video encoding options are selectable by clicking on the encoding option buttons. And if exporting to an external device, this will open the property page of that device. Audio mix down options are set using the Audio mix down button. We'll be looking at audio mixdown options in greater detail when we get to mixing.